We got a first look at PS5 game boxes, Half-Life 3 could have been a roguelite, and Crash Bandicoot is on the run on your phone. I'm Chasty, and this is your Safe Safe for Thursday, July 9th. First up, we got a first look at PS5 game boxes, and they're not that different from PS4. Sony revealed what a PS5 physical game box looks like by showing off Spider-Man Miles Morales. So it's a lot like the PS4 box, except this stripe is gonna be white and that four is gonna be a five. PS5 has no set launch date or price yet, but there's a standard and an all digital edition with no disc drive. So you won't have this Spidey box on your shelf if you buy the digital version of the console. Spider-Man Miles Morales has no date or price either, but it will be coming out during PS5's launch window. Half-Life Alex got rave reviews, but did you know that Half-Life 3 was nearly a procedurally generated roguelite? Valve went through several Half-Life 3 iterations since Episode 2 in 2007, and one of them was a procedurally generated roguelite game. Jeff Keighley's The Final Hours of Half-Life Alex talks about this idea. You would explore randomly generated buildings, fight enemies inside, and rescue a prisoner. Story beats would happen in between each building run. But the core principle of this was replayability. The idea was scrapped because the procedural generation was a problem for Valve's Source Engine 2's lighting, visibility, and saving. Also, a proposed Left 4 Dead 3 was canned for the same reason. Ultimately, we did get Half-Life Alex this year, and the decision to make it a VR exclusive was a way for Valve to try something new with its gameplay. So reportedly, Alex was the sixth attempt at a Half-Life sequel since episode two. It took a while, but it might be the revival the series needed. What do you guys think? It's a good time for our favorite Bandicoot. Not only are we getting Crash 4, it's about time, but we're getting Crash Bandicoot on the run on mobile. It's a runner based on Crash Bandicoot levels like Temple Ruins, Turtle Woods, and Barrett. There's a crafting element where you build weapons like rocket launchers to fight bosses. Those bosses will be pulled from all the Crash games, even the forgotten ones like the Crash game on the Tiger Electronics 99X. You can play as both Crash and Coco, and both of them are customizable with different skins. Crash Bandicoot on the run is coming to iOS and Android, but there's no exact date yet. As a reminder, GameSpot's Play For All is still going on, and even though our final charity stream is tomorrow, we're still raising money in a brand new way with GameSpot's store. Head over to store.gamespot.com to buy cool Play For All merch for yourself, including face masks, t-shirts, hoodies, and this awesome skateboard. All proceeds go to charity until the end of August, so head to the store, get something cool, and help us raise money for a good cause. And that's your Safe Safe for Thursday. I'm Chastity, and you can find me on Twitter at Chastity underscore V. Kurt will be back with more news on Monday. See you next time.